Now, have you ever been in that position where a mother asks you about their baby and they're like, you know, oh, isn't he, isn't he handsome boy? You look over and you're like, hey! Because he looks like a, like a yogurt pot someone threw on the floor last week. You know, you've got to try and come up with a compliment quickly without actually giving a compliment. And I'm getting similar vibes from this tweet. So this is from a gentleman who got to go to one of the early screenings of episode one and two of The Rings of Power. But this, this is the bit that got my attention. I don't know how they managed to pull this off, but they made a Lord of the Rings show that feels, get this, like Lord of the Rings. Okay, now I know very little about a great deal of things, but I feel like a Lord of the Rings show feeling like a Lord of the Rings show. Uh, is, isn't, that, isn't that like bare minimum? Isn't that like, uh, you know, that's the starting point and you work your way up. Am I wrong about that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Hmm? Oh, I've got a spicy old dish to serve up for you today. This is an interview that I started watching yesterday. I got one question in and I was like, no, I need to watch this with you guys. You're gonna see why. So this is from a channel called Jake's Takes and uh, let's take a look, shall we? Obviously we no longer have the great J.R.R. Tolkien around to use as a source when sort of adapting stories of Middle Earth. But I was wondering if you could imagine sitting down with him turning on the first episode of Rings of Power, maybe binging the whole first season, and when it's over, leaning over and saying, what did you think about... <laughs> <laughs> Already, I mean, look at the cast. They are just like, oh, uh, oh. Ah, didn't really think about that. Uh, what would Tolkien think? Mm. And when it's over, leaning over and saying, what did you think about this part? What is the aspect of the show you would most love to get his thoughts on? I just pick his brain. I just want to, he's, he was so genius. Um, that I just want to know where it all came from. What she just said there, do you remember, do you remember Norm Macdonald Live? Do you remember the bit uh, Adam Eager used to do? That's literally what that bit is making fun of. Hang on, let me see if I can find that. That's li literally what that bit is making fun of. Man, I miss Norm. Oh, and Super Dave. I think mine would be like, why well, glad you'll have to suffer so much. <laughs> like, tough. by the time that we meet her, like, she's lost so much. Why does Galadriel suffer so much? I don't know. Maybe because she, maybe because he wanted to build a character. Have a compelling story behind that character. I don't know. What, 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 what? Do you want to have like a good real estate job? Have a nice pension? Live in the Cotswolds maybe? What, like, what, what do you want? You get to sit down with the Tolkien and you ask him that. Like, they don't even want to know about the memes, people. Like, you don't even want to ask him about Tom Bombadil. Where, where are the Entwives? Not even that. You want to ask, why? Why does she suffer so? I personally would like to know how he feels about the world of the Harfoots. Yes. Because um, I think, I think we've... I'd like that too. I'd like to know that too, because I mean, I believe he said that they did nothing of note within the second age. So I, 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 I'd I, like to know what he thought of that too. The, the fact that you've really, uh, you've really fleshed that out, even though he said, ah, they didn't really do much. The casting of a sealed or I'd just be like, <laughs> do you think, do you think I did him justice? <laughs> did I do it right? I mean, do you just kind of go, is, is... they all just, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a genuinely good question. Well, like, what would you ask him about after watching the show? And they all just want to know about, about what they did. They get to sit with Tolkien, and they just want to talk about themselves. They're like, ah, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I could ask you about you, but how about we talk about me, right? But if I'm being frank, I mean, it's just, that, that's what you say if you don't really have an answer, isn't it? You just, you just talk about the one thing you do know about the story and Tolkien, which is the character you've just played. So that's the only thing, that's the only thing you can ask him about, because it's the only thing you know about. I think to, like, to just the characters that aren't necessarily canon characters, I'd really like to hear his thoughts on and and yeah. and and what he would what he would say <laughs> I wouldn't do that I, I I really wouldn't do that I would if I wouldn't dare sit in front of Tolkien and say yeah you know all them characters you wrote in in your stories yeah uh can we talk about the ones I've made real quick yes Tolkien was a, I'm sure he was a very big fan of people adding characters to his stories uh I, I'm sure I'd love that. I mean, look at that face. She, I think she knows it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I would like to have that conversation with him. I, I do think uh, 
he would give a resounding F yeah, you know? Yeah, you know what? I think he's right, you know? I think Tolkien was like a F yeah kind of guy. I mean, he was known for really liking profanity. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that sarcasm, by the way. You know, there's areas of his works that are so, so vast and so detailed. And of, of course, there's areas where there's still some divine scripture, but it doesn't stretch as far. And we've kind of exercised those those stretches. So what she's just said is like, oh, there's, there's, there's pockets of, of Tolkien's writings that are uh, rich in detail. And there's others that aren't because, I don't know, maybe he either didn't finish them or didn't, uh, didn't think they warranted uh, further, further writing, uh, and those are the ones. Yeah, that, that, those, those are the avenues we we went down. We like there's all this detail over here. I mean, detail schmetail. I mean, come on. Why look at all that intricacy when you can have? Hey, we got awfully big feet round here. These are more like these. These are not. These are nuts. <laughs> That's the best joke I've ever told. Or, or whether he would be surprised that maybe we've drawn something out that he hadn't thought of. We don't want to know what Tolkien didn't think of. We like what Tolkien thought of. That's why we like Tolkien. He was, he was pretty good at thinking. And dare I say, even better at writing. It'd be lovely to hear how he feels about, you know, all the, all the myriad of complex and deep and rich characters that are sort of coming out of the, of the woodwork. Why, why are they all pushing this? Why, is the, why, like, why are they all so excited about the bits that Tolkien didn't write and didn't explain and didn't dive into? I don't know why they're so obsessed with these. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. You'll have to explain it to me if you know, because I, I, I mean, if I had to guess, I would say it's that like, it's like legal issues. Like obviously what they do and don't have the rights to. So maybe they've fleshed out stuff that wasn't written because you can't, you know, you, you can't be sued or be held accountable for, for writings that he didn't actually write. I, I don't know. I can't say anything about it, but I'm going to say the last episode. Mm. Oh, I, I haven't seen the last episode. <laughs> no, no one's seen the last episode. He just said that because he doesn't know how to answer the question. He's just dropped that one because it's like, I, I mean, yeah. Sorry, can't say any more NDA. And I, and I don't know how you guys feel about this. This to me is not a series that I think you should binge. I think any series that is worth watching is also worth binging. Because binging just means it's so good, you have to keep watching. I mean, I, I, like, yeah, I, could, I guess I, 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 I get the, the argument that, oh, yeah, but you could, you, you know, you need to savor it. But, like, yeah, you, you could just watch it again. <laughs> the only things you can think to say is, yeah, I don't think, I don't think this show is for binging, really. <laughs> Shouldn't it be like, yes, you're going to watch an episode, and then immediately after that, you're going to want to see the next episode because it's that good. But it's like, you're not going to want to do that, though. Maybe I'm wrong, but that sounds like a big old red flag to me. Enjoy and rewatch even, you know? So you might want to watch some episodes, <laughs> you know, more than once. Yeah, I did. You, you, you might want to see an episode more than once. I don't know. You don't have to. You might want to. I think this, this is sound, these are sounding like big old red flags, people. What, what do you, why is she sound so unsure? It's like, you're going to want to watch this show. You're going to, when you watch an episode, you're going to want it's the next one. Then you're going to want it's the next one. Then when you finish, you're going to watch it all over again. I'd be like, hell yeah, okay. That sounds, hey, that sounds pretty good. But she's like, ah, I don't know. You'll watch an episode and then, I don't know, maybe, maybe go to the Lake District for a week. Go, go to Chattanooga. Go, go to Tierra del Fuego. For, for a long weekend and then go watch the next episode and then oh, I mean obviously you don't have to but you could watch if it's good you'll just want to keep watching it and you'll want to watch it again and again and again because god knows how many times I've watched the original trilogy and even more than that I've probably watched the makings of the Lord of the Rings more times than I've watched the actual Lord of the Rings maybe I, I don't know maybe I've caught the wrong end of the stick there but that that that, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound like a good thing from my own friends because we did we sort of protected ourselves from exploring the other worlds we just sort of stuck to around okay i'm just bored of that now uh i do want to say the guy doing the interview he did a good job he was asking good questions and he was probing them why they're all like driving this point like the bits that are really good are the bits that Co tolkien didn't write or didn't explain fully i don't know what that's all about but hey maybe like i say maybe i got the wrong end of the stick let me know down in the comments uh that's it for this video appreciate you watching this far uh i hope i can see you in the next video but until then take care of yourself guys see ya and as always, I want to give a big shout out to my patrons. These guys help me behind the scenes so I can get videos to you more consistently. So a big shout out to Steve the Goat, Abe Froman, Sammy Moraine, Brennis, 
Damon Spike, and also a big welcome to the Patreon family, to Chloe Bond. Uh, it's really good to have you guys. I appreciate your support so much. And we've been having some real good conversations on Patreon, so I really do appreciate you guys. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.